Thanks for watching Drumbox, everybody. We have the Modern Art Blitz holiday party coming up right now uh, with Mac Gleason. I'm Nolan Silverstein. Stay tuned for another year and hopefully even more of Drumbox.com programming. So, uh, so Greg Escalante uh, uh, the, of the Gregorio Escalante Gallery in Chinatown, Copro Gallery in um, Santa Monica, and Juxtapose Magazine internationally. Greg, <laughs> welcome. It's great to be here again. Always a fun time. Happy New Year. Thank you. Any New Year's resolutions? Yeah, it was to clean up my messes around the house, and I've already started. That's because I moved from a big house to a small house, and I just left everything like it's not a house. It's you moved from a big house, yeah, to a small house. Yeah. So, and then you, yeah, oh boy, that's the worst. It also it sold quick, so it all had to happen so quick that I couldn't oh. t figure out stuff. So I just you have boxes yeah, and boxes. I just, just put it all in, and I just piles of clothes. Yeah, I attacked one area, and it turned out I, I didn't know what was there. It turned out that it was mostly art books but also a box that came from the Harvard Museum that had my Von Dutch fist, and it all, which was a, a cast of Von Dutch's fist, the only one, and also the Von Dutch knife. And I thought for like a year and a half, I had just lost that thing. You thought you had lost it, but it was just in a pile of stuff yeah. at your house. Ah, so classic. That was the cool find. So I had classic. A lot, of, a lot of like stress and anxiety about that fact. Hey, look, we're on Chungking Road. Woo! Oh, wow. <laughs> there's, there's the show you did with, look, look over there. There's a, it says Chaz Borica's. Can't Wait, beat him. There, see? Oldest living graffiti artist the in the world. Oldest living graffiti artist in the world. So, um, so hey, we're here. You can hear the noise in the background, I'm sure. Is that we're I having know, a, I can't believe that you figured out you could have a party on live streaming thing. We're having a live streaming party. Abel, can you cut to the party cam? Is that, there we go. See, look, it's a party here. There's people talking wow. and drinking. And that's my wife laughing, if you heard that one. Yeah, that was a great cackle. My, my wife's got a great laugh. So, uh, so back to Greg. Um, so, Greg, in the new year, tell us about... Back to Greg. Hello? Hello? Abel. Oh, hey. Hey. So, uh, Greg Escalante, in the new year, 2017, tell us, if you would, who is your... Uh-oh, what's going on with my camera? You, I just disappeared. Ah, that's great, 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 great. Hey, uh, so Greg, tell us about the big secret party that's happening. Yes, it's the after party for the Mel Ramos Lifetime Achievement Award from the Little Topia LA Art Show Ooh. at the LA Convention Center on January 12th from probably 8.30 to 11.30 p.m. Three hours. Can you tell the big news? Yes. This is the best thing I've heard the new, in the new year so far. Greg came to the party, which is going on right now. Been going on a while. Greg came to the party and told me, who's gonna DJ the party? Flavor Flav. The Flavor Flav. Accept no substitutes. Yeah, and we're happy if any art people want to come and see it, but we just don't want, like, like you know, the general, like... This is not for the general public. Yeah, it's it's the for art, art, it's an art people. Party. So art party people All right. are invited. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> and, and, and what's your first show of the new year? It's... The phenomenal Robert Burden with his super gigantic paintings, like the one he has of Batman that's in the, that just got delivered in the gallery today. I just saw, I, we went by the gallery today to pick up some cups and plates for the party, and, uh, and I saw through the window, you've already got the giant painting in there of Batman, yeah, so. And that's why I gave him a show, is because I saw that painting on social media, like just people were posting it a couple of years ago. And I just go, who is that guy? Who painted that? That's like the best painting I've seen in a year. So, so nice. I'm so thrilled to have that painting in my gallery nice. and to give him a big show. He's so and talented. then the show opens Saturday, January 7th, and then right away, the LA Art Show. Who, yeah. who are you showing at the LA Art Show? Shepard Ferry. Sorry. Never heard of him. <laughs> um, um, uh, Did he tell you to show him and you obeyed? Yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> and... Uh, Christina Drake. Okay. She does the insects and the skulls with crystals. And uh, Sandow Burke, F. Scott Hess, um, 
Did I say Chaz Bohorkis? Chaz? Chaz. Wow. Um, you got you got you got kind of got an all star team odd there. Odd Nerdrum. Odd Nerdrum. A, a small painting. A small painting. Yeah. Uh, and the phenomenal tour de force, which is none other than Jeff Gillette. Jeffrey Gillette. Yes. We gotta I mean, get Jeff on the show, man. Yeah, yeah, he should be on the show. Plus, I have a limerick about him. You have a limerick about Jeff Gillette? Yeah. Let's hear it. But I can only say part of it, and you guys could Google the rest of it. There once was a man named Gillette. Now, this is the strangest one yet. Yeah. That's all I can say. Well, you know limericks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a standing limerick? I'll tell you, 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 tell you later. You can say the whole thing. <laughs> this, it's not a family channel. Maybe I'll get back to it. All right. Let's move to something else. Um, well, you got a party to go to. I don't want to keep you. Right, at the family party. He's got like a series of parties to go to. We started with, we started with the people. There's people who just landed here from other parties. Yeah. We're going to get to them later. Yeah. But we started with Greg because what's the next party you're going to? You can make it up and say celebrities. No, it's true. Like it's, you're going to Jack Nicholson's it's, party it's, tonight, right? No, it's my ex-wife's party. Your ex-wife's party? But she invited my whole nuclear family to it. Wow, so you're on good terms with your ex-wife. It cost a bit of money to make that happen, but it was well worth, ah. it. Was well worth <laughs> it when you have a kid together. I recommend well. it. Go to a mediator. Don't get lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Greg Escalani, thank you very much for being on Modern Art Blitz, our, our New Year. Our, uh, oh our new year show well thank you for doing so much in art you've you made it i would say i would give you a new year's toast to a guy that sacrificed pretty much everything to make the art world a better place wow with, with truth and good criticism and great writing thanks so much greg appreciate it Woo next guest is uh a legend of abstraction in Southern California and perhaps the world. We'll find out what she has in store for 2017. She's a very accomplished painter and author. Barbara Kerwin. They're applauding you around the globe now, streaming live at Dronebox. Here, you have to hold that and, 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 and answer my queries. Hey, we got, a, we got one, of your, one of your artworks right there. Hi. Looky there. Hi. All right. So, Happy New Year, Matt. Happy New Year, Barbara. How you doing? I, I drank too much last night. Oh, no, you're kind of hungover? Yeah. Hair of the dog that bit you. <laughs> okay. But it's a good New Year because we were just talking about politics here Get that on close to your stage. mouth. Yeah, you were talking about politics. politics. Ah! And how that's going to affect art in the New Year. What do you think? Oh, well, I got my microphone. So, okay. um, I think that um, art, uh, the problem for me with political art is that it... Um, Politics tends to make art subservient to its demands, and I believe that art is at the top, and that politics should be serving art. And so that usually doesn't happen. So that's my, my, my biggest trepidation about political art. Well, with everything, I think being honest and really getting to the core of your truth is what we need to do right now. Isn't being an artist a political statement in and of itself? I think that for a lot of people, it's a commercial statement. Sorry to say. Good point. Good yeah. point. Good point. But commerce is politics. It's just tends to be on the other side of the aisle. You know <laughs> what I mean? You're on. You're on. I'm on the right, but you're on the stage right. So you appear to be the right winger here. I'm the right winger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Yeah. You no. Know, and maybe beauty will have a, a place in that, but certainly the sublime. Well, you know, it's pretty hard to get there. It's like the Grand Canyon. Do you really want to drive that far for the sublime? Well, we were talking, too, about the funny images of Trump that are going around. Don't they make you laugh when you see them? The best one, and I thought, I, I remember I seeing it. his name. <laughs> two, days before, uh, two days before the election, I was in the, um, the rafters of my gallery, and somebody had given me this amazing photorealistic portrait of Mussolini, but they had altered it just enough so that it was Trump's face, and it said, <laughs> Il Duce. Sorry, I baptized you there with the. No, I think that's that makes me laugh every time I see things like that. So, yeah. So, uh, so that made me. That. that made me. So, so I hope this is a good era for satire, and that people can lighten up and know that we must bring about a, con a, a conversation with power from a position of power, and that is where satire will come in. 
Well, certainly going beyond the obvious, but when you have that, those obvious um, portrayals like you were just describing, but it's playing, it's tweaking it a little bit. So it's going beyond. Do you have a New Year's resolution? Nope, but I burned last night what I didn't like about 2016. What did you burn? I can't tell you here. Oh, anywhere. you don't want to be on the record. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. that usually means it's some good gossip. All right. <laughs> um, well, so, thank you very much. Happy New Year. All right. Thanks, Barb. Woohoo! Barbara Kerwin, great, uh, greats for ladies and germs. This is the lovely Eliza, our intern Eliza. It's going to be a big year in intern land, isn't it? Oh God, I'm I'm kind of scared. It's going to be a big year in intern land. Um, we've uh, instituted uh, new rules. Uh, we have a dress code now uh, for interns, uh, and your leopard skin, uh, leopard skin dress code and um, red stocking, so we're, 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 you're, you're following the new dress code first day of the year. You're just making, you're trying to make it seem like I'm following your rules when really they're just mine. Well, I've learned to capitulate. Hey, um, so uh, aren't you excited about the LA Art Show coming up? Yes. At the Convention Center. Super excited. We're gonna see if you can sell art. I've already sold art, what are you talking about? Remember, remember that one episode where you handed me my money for selling art. Okay. Look fine. at him. He doesn't like being wrong. He doesn't like being proved <laughs> wrong. I forgot. Forgot. She's already sold. I think you might have sold more art in 2016 out of the gallery than I did. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, nothing. No. Ah, we're in the void. We're in the void. <laughs> they think you're Alex. Hey. hey, Abel, put on your movie. Put on the movie behind us. Oh, okay. I didn't. They, are they yelling something? I feel like I should start singing here. Hey, so, um, so, Aliza, what, what is your New Year's resolution? I don't have one. I'm you just, know, I'm just going to be the exact same amazing person. Isn't it great to be in your twenties, <laughs> where you don't have to have resolutions to keep yourself? What, self what should I, What am I supposed to change? Look at me. Oh. <laughs> And that's why we call her Intern Aliza. There's so many people here, I'm just really hyper. It's I'm a really good like, crowd. I'm we really got a good excited. crowd. Hey, can we cut to the party cam to, to show everybody? There's a party cam. Everybody that's here? There's a party cam. It's actually behind our screen right here. They're gonna cut they're gonna get a shot of somebody like shoving shoving a tamale in There's their the face. There's a party cam. Oh, oh, oh. Woo, We're look live at that. on the party cam. Whoever's not here is probably so jealous. You, you guys are on the party cam. That's the party cam. There Aww. you go. Everybody wave. You're on the party cam. Look at all the lovely wave people. Wave to no one. Oh, you're falling over. You're getting dizzy there. All right. It's a bigger party than it appears on that damn cam. What's going on? It's noisy, that's for sure. <laughs> the... Make everybody look uh, like they need a New Year's resolution. Okay. So. Um, What's your New Year's resolution? Oh, um, you know, okay, get this. My New Year's resolution was uh, no sugar. And the first thing that happens is Abel comes to pick me up to drive me here. And he gives me a, a cheesecake. Oh, the one that he brought from. And that's why we have a cheesecake here. Because I said it's my, imported my, my, from my New, New York. Year's resolution is no sugar. No sugar and less clutter. You messed it up before that anyway. With what do you the, mean? With the sugar donut, the powder donut. No, 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 but for this year, the New, New Year's resolution, the concept of the New Year's resolution is to stop what you did in the year before or the year. before. See, I don't even understand it. It's like, why are you gonna wait for the new year to change it if you're gonna change okay, it? Okay, when they talk about millennials, remember this, folks. When they talk about millennials, remember that you saw a millennial get interviewed who didn't know what a New Year's resolution was. Hey, I know what it is. This I just person don't is follow licensed it. to drive <laughs> by the state of California. How do you know that? <laughs> well, you have driven me. That was your that was your your choice. It was like this. All right. So um. Well, that was it. That was the interview, basically. What's oh. your New Year's resolution? You're too young to know what resolution means. So, <laughs> so there we have it. Anything else to add? 
Um, no, we're going to do the art fair and I'm going to be in Sherry's performance. Oh, you're doing, tell us about the performance you're doing. Oh, it's psychosexual at, psychosexual. at the Situation Room on the 6th and it's going to be like an urgent care setting. Except the people coming in are g coming in to fulfill their sexual fantasies instead of... Their um, medical issues. Yes, exactly. And I'm going to be a sexy nurse. Well, typecast as usual. So, why don't we get Sherry up here? Yay! Okay. So here, give me, hand me the microphone and why don't you, why don't you go grab Sherry? Come on, Sherry. It's a big party here. She had to push through the crowd. They brought tamales, though. It was very good. Very good. Oh, there's the camera. That's the, some of the party there. Chow down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you a legend in LA performance art and a legend Overall, Ms. Sherry Rose, hold the microphone. Welcome. Well, thanks for having me. Is it going on? I can't hear anything. Oh, you, 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 yeah, everything's fine. It's just, it's very loud. That's, that's all. Oh, okay. I feel very fortunate to be here on New, on New Year's Day with you. It's another year. Well, we're survivors, you and I. We've survived a and little. And this is not going. This is not going to get us down. We're going to survive this too. Hell yeah! But we need to. We need to get together to do that. But it's happening, and this is a very. If this is any auspiciousness, yes, it should be for the first day of the year. I would say, off to a great start. Good. So, so uh, wait, wait, wait. What's what? No? what's? We've got to talk about a couple things here. I got a microphone on. See, I got. Oh, you, oh, oh I got a I microphone. I didn't realize that. Yeah. So, so why do we get the phallic symbols? Yeah. <laughs> hey, so um, so what's your New Year's resolution? I haven't made any, really. You haven't made any? I always break them, so it's like, <laughs> then I end up feeling bad. And everybody does. So if you don't, don't make them, you one. don't feel bad. Right, because exactly. you didn't, okay, I think okay, about okay. things, and I think about what I might do better, but so, I don't actually make a list. So Sherry Rose, tell me. You have a performance coming up very soon in January. Oh, Tell Jan us about your performance. January 6th. Friday, January 6th. And it's the, um, well last year, it's a little history, last year it was Bob Flanagan's 20th anniversary of his death. I, I went to the event at, uh, at Beyond Clif Baroque. Yeah. Was it well, it's at Clifton's Cafeteria. Oh no, wait, when was the one at Beyond Baroque? That was a few years ago. That was a couple years ago. Oh, okay, before. geez. This was wrong place. But anyway, the people who showed up there, it was wonderful. And so now I want to have every year on the anniversary of his death, we're going to have uh, an anniversary event. So this is the first annual St. Bob Flanagan um, Sick Clinic, our after hours show. Wow, wow, wow. So that's what we're gonna do. And, and you're, and Rihanna, where, where is it? Where are you having this? It's at the Situation Room. The Situation which, Room. Which is in Eagle Rock. And, oh yeah. And um, you can check, you can Google that if there, anybody's interested. Google but, the Situation Room. And uh, it should be fun. We're going to have people come in, and we're sending it all up like an emergency room, only not for physical stuff, but for psychosexual problem. Not problems, psychosexual concerns. Psychosexual concerns. concerns. And so you're involving participants from the general public. Well, that's what I like to do. <laughs> you, you like to initiate people. I know that. I definitely do. It's kind of like that's your specialty, right? I don't know, but I haven't... Yeah, that's a good that's a good analysis though. So but this should be fun, and it's completely anonymous. You have to fill out a little questionnaire, tell us what your fantasy is, that your, or sex, not your fantasy or your sexual interest is. You might want to explore, and if it's something that we can offer, we can see you for an appointment. Oh dear! Well, <laughs> what a uh, deal! And and I think people are going to be flying into LA wait, for this one, Terry. Wait, Sherry. wait, and. It's like donation only. It's a nonprofit organization there. She's giving us the space. So anything that you feel is worth it to you, that you got something from our encounter, then you pay what you feel is... Support the Situation Room. Exactly. And, With and your psychosexual the, concerns. That's right. Wow. And, we, and, and it should be fun. We're going to do it from 9 p.m. to 6 to 2 a.m. Wow. A shorty for us. Just five hours. Wow. Okay. 
Wow. Okay, well, it sounds like we got a, a whole event promoted. <laughs> You're looking great. Thank you. I love your necklace, your whole oh, outfit. That's I my, mean, my, my uh, collaborator, Rian and Aaron's, got that for me. From oh, wow. For Hanukkah or Christmas or New Year's skulls. Beautiful. Yeah. So Beautiful. I wish we could zoom in on those. Wow. It's gorgeous, really. Wow. Right. So, okay. Well, Sherry Rose, Happy New Year, and thank you very much. Thank you so much. Woohoo! That was fun. I didn't do that. I didn't plug it. You have to plug this afterwards. I'm sorry. I'm what are we plugging? Book of Medicine. Oh, okay, yeah. Is that okay? I'm I will, different. absolutely. Yeah, I'm this sorry. is the Book of Medicine. Bob's final masterwork is remained. Wait, wait. 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 I'm gonna, I'm is that on now? Is it on live now? Take this into the booth. Do you know where the booth is? But say something about it. Okay, you know Bob Flanagan, he's passed away, but his final masterwork, The Book of Medicine, has remained unpublished for 20 years. You, you can help us print it. Visit www.thebookofmedicine.com for more information. We want to raise some money and publish Bob Flanagan's final masterwork. What a great commercial. That was great, man. Fantastic. Yeah. You're wonderful. Oh, geez. I didn't hand her the microphone to flatter me. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Thanks, Sherry. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a wide yeah. chair. <laughs> so uh, this is the legendary cardboard activation duo, Doss House. Welcome. Hello. You got you to hold that and talk Hi. into it. So. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I, New Year. I like your glasses. Oh, thanks. Thanks. They were an accident. Yeah. Now I'm stuck with them. Are you seeing the world through a... A golden hue. There you go. There you go. Yes. Yep. It's all one big piss stain. Hey, um, do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? New Year's resolutions. No. no. You got to interview. You got to. Yeah. No. No. Do you, uh, you have none? I have none. I made none. Okay, yeah, we're we're not good. Not good at being. Not good at resolutions. No. Wow. No. no. I guess maybe we're just okay. Okay. Oh, you've arrived at a point where you need no resolutions. Well, if you make a resolution, you won't keep it anyway. So what's the point of making the resolution? Oh, I'm going to keep mine. You make. Oh, what, what is yours? No sugar. No sugar. No sugar. No sugar. And it's a good thing we did not bring donuts. The first thing that happens, Abel. I'm going to tell this story 20 times today. <laughs> Abel shows up at my house to load up the party supplies, and he's like, "Oh, hey, I got you this cheesecake. That's why there's cheesecake over there." <laughs> So um, anyway, so uh, what do you guys have coming up in 2017? I know there's a big thing uh, coming up in a, two weeks. Yes. Uh, a very, very big, exciting thing. Let's uh, hear all about it. We are uh, some of the featured artists at the 2017 LA Art Show. A featured artist at the LA Art Show at the LA Convention Center. Yes. January 11th, 11th through, through the 15th. 15th. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, we have a full room installation. A full room full installation. Full room installation that wow. you can you can enter the House of Cardboard. Love it. Become love it. Love us. it. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna be at the I'm gonna be at the LA Art Show too. I've got a, a couple of booths and mm -hmm. uh, uh, a new issue of Coagula Art Journal will be out, Ooh. so uh, we'll have a booth for that, and mm -hmm. we're gonna be rocking and rolling. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, what else do you have uh, in schedule for 2017? Anything else? Uh, we also have an opening at the uh, Torrance Art Museum on the 14th, I believe. Tam, Tam Saturday the 14th. Tam. Wow. And uh, so we're. How many artists are in that show? They, their specialty is like a thousand artists per show, right? Um, no, this one I think is quite. It's, it's smaller. It's all people that work in paper and cardboard. Oh, okay. So, so only like 500 artists. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. So, so, um, so when, and that's January for Saturday the 14th in Torrance. Yes. If you're in the South Bay, uh, what can you say? Yes. So are you looking forward to 2017? Yes. So, yep. so far, yes. so far, so good. So far, so good. Starting off too good. And uh, you're not, you're not going to be attending any of the inaugural festivities in, um, <laughs> in Washington D.C. Not like no. 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 Got to, got to raz, got to raz everybody. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. If we make it to February, I'll be thrilled, you know, so. Yes. Whew. Okay. So, okay. Um, well, cool. Hey, it's a big party. Have some, we got Ritz crackers. There's, there's some Cheez-Its. Uh, there's, uh, there's even Utz party mix. Yeah, Utz party mix. Bought it at Costco myself. And people are bringing good stuff here. I'm gonna, I might have to, but you know what we're gonna have later? We're gonna have Jim Karen drumming. Ooh. So, and while Jim Karen's Jim Karen is drumming. I'm going to be eating uh, Cheetos. So, uh, Doss House, thank you very much.
uh, we're always we're big fans, and uh, we'll have to have you back on the show deeper into 2017 as your star ascends. Thank you very much. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Wow, wow, wow! Everybody's here. Wow, more people. This is Raven. Uh, Raven, welcome to Modern Art Blitz, and um, and let's see your shoes. I want I want to hold up the shoes here. So these are like. These are shoes, okay? So, so um, here, let me. I'm going to hand you the microphone, and you can tell us about. We have one of your artworks here to talk about. This is Velvet Sunflower. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, 2016 was a good year for you. You had you had this in a big show, right? Got yes. the LA Times write up. And this was in the LA Times article, actually. They and actually someone, reproduced it in the in the uh, paper, yeah. And uh, someone saw this and bought it from the article. Gotta love sales. You know that, right? Yep, gotta love sales. That's so exciting. Yep, gotta love the LA Times working as my salespeople. <laughs> hey, um, what do you have? Hey, do you have any New Year's resolutions? No, I mean I'm having it's. I made my resolutions uh, mid last year. I'm already in the future. <laughs> wow! Holy shit! I They're never all thought coming of that. to pass right now. I never thought of that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Make them early. Oh, oh my head happen. hurts. My head hurts. You went outside of the box. Ah. So, so, um, so, do you? What, what are your big plans for 2017? Making more artwork, doing more things. Well, you're looking glamorous. Thank you. Being you're more feeling glamorous. glamorous. Yeah. Uh, what'd you do last night? <laughs> oh my God. Let's hear about it. <laughs> I went to a party. I went to a, a party. Uh oh. It was really fun. It turned out really psychedelic. Psychedelic party. Okay. What part of town? What part of town do you party in? That was uh, downtown. Oh, you like downtown? Yeah. Where's the best place in LA to party? Oh my gosh, I don't. We've, you know what? You've asked me this question. I don't. You know, they're they're all unique. You, they're very unique. It's a happening right okay. now. Right now, this is the best party. Oh, this well, is the party. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll I'll take it. I'll take it where I can get it. Uh, I'll take it where I can get it, folks. Okay, so um, now you're not changing uh, up any art styles this year. You're just going with the flow, going with what what moves you. Yeah. You're not making any movies? Movies. You're not like doing my own. Oh, you're, you're, I see what you're, you're not doing any cinema this year? You didn't sign with uh, DiCaprio for a movie no, or anything? Not no, not yet. No. <laughs> okay, well, we always have heights to continue aspiring to. So, well here, I'm going to hand you your shoe. I'm going to trade you your shoes for the microphone. Okay. Woo. Thanks, Matt. All Happy right. New Year. Happy New Year, Raven Cervellon. Thank you very much. For over 20 years, this man has been the mad cartoonist for Coagula Art Journal, and that's only one tiny, tiny thing from his resume. Just one tiny. One thing. gram on his resume. And Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Karen. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I'm Jim Karen. Wait, wait. You got to talk into the oh. mic. Okay. Hello, I am Jim Karen. I'm talking to the mic. So, Just Jim, Jim, what's your New Year's resolution? To uh, listen to listen to my own advice. The hell I, the I think that's best to listen to your own advice. Wow. You know how you're always giving people advice? Yes. That is a hell of a resolution. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, being you know, harassed by the crowd. You're the first yeah, guest that's uh, gotten the crowd's attention. I, I love to have a heckler. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I thought I'd do. You know how you give people advice and you're thinking, you know what? I don't do that. I, I give advice and I know what I'm talking about and I know I'm helping this person, but I know I'm not doing it myself. I'm screwing up. Oh, I'm screwing closer, up. You're, you're, closer to so, the mouth. Okay. So, so I, I find that I give people advice and they never take it. Yeah, I, I'm taking my own advice. You know, if I say, "Hey, don't lie," I shouldn't lie, right? But I would still lie if it was going to be to my benefit. I have to admit. You're an honest man, Jim. Yes, I would, especially if it was somebody in the house I wanted them out. So, so, uh, uh, Jim, I have a question for you. Okay. You are going to be performing at our party here. I am? Okay. Tell us uh, what you're going to be doing today. I think I'm playing the drums. I'm going to be doing an extemporaneous performance. In other words, I have no idea what I'm going to do until I start doing it. But that is the essence of my process. The essence of my performance is extemporaneous. We're going to get you uh, performing in just a little bit. And okay. throughout the show, we'll have you up and down. Uh, as uh, as we go, uh, that sounds so, exciting, man. So you have uh, you have uh, no New Year's resolution. No, other than take to your, take my take own, own advice. advice. Yes, and, I, uh, I do not usually make New Year's resolutions because they see. I, 
I'm already pretty happy with what I'm doing. You know, you have a full page cartoon coming out yes, in I the do. new issue of Coagular Journal. Yes, I believe that's the seventh that's coming out. It, isn't it's, it? it's coming out. Uh, it's coming out. When, we're going to pick it up from the printer Wednesday. If, if Brian, uh, if I can get Brian to go to the printer Wednesday. Okay, but, I am very excited about this comic. Uh oh. Uh, yes. Uh, Here it's, they all it's come. It's one of my best, one of my best thought out comics ever. I, I sat there and I drew it all on one page. It was so funny, I laughed for a week at my own things. I know it's very gauche to laugh at your own jokes, but oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, I love it. This is the dream I had last night. Yes. Okay? You're not on hallucinogens. <laughs> Jeez. Jim, this okay. time. <laughs> oh, I love it. She's got two different kinds of socks on. That's oh, so yeah. cool. Anyway, yeah, Matt, I'm very excited about this comic. I know it's going to be... Uh, changed the way everyone looks at what's going on politically in this nation it's right now. It's a political comic and I think you really, you, you, you grabbed the bull by the horns on this yes, one. Yes, I did. Thank you I'm, very much, I'm Matt. quite excited. So the new issue of Coagula is going to be, we're going to have a booth at the LA Art Show oh just handing out God. stacks of them. So, so this thing's going to be distributed throughout the city in the galleries and at the LA Art Show. Uh, it's going to be a, a good issue and your, your cartoon's great. Oh man, that's great. So, okay, um, Matt. I want you to go um, over and um, start thinking about your drumming because we're going to have you be drumming in about 10 minutes, okay? Okay, Matt, you just let me know. Thanks All right. for having me here. Jim Karen, Happy New Year. Okay, Happy New Year, Matt. All right, this is the Modern Art Blitz. Oh, okay. Oh, you got to sit on Santa's lap here. What do you want for Christmas, little girl? Oh dear. Welcome, Thanks. our esteemed uh, Modern Art Blitz alumni, Serena Potter. You had to suffer an episode without me. I think I was. Was I in Vegas when you when you were there? Oh, here, you got Here's your microphone. Was it Texas? For some oh, I was in Texas. Te you were Texas. in April. I was at the. I, was, I do the Dallas Art Fair every year. Make money at it, by the way. It's good art fair. Um, so, uh, so tell us. Uh, do you have any New Year's resolutions? You don't have to come up with one on the spot. If you don't have one, you don't have... A lot of people... Some people didn't even know what a New Year's resolution was, okay? Uh, no. You have no New Year's resolution. I didn't really want to do that this year. Okay. Just try to survive. Stay positive. So, um, so uh, you like to draw F. Scott Hess, I see. You know what? He's pretty. He's pretty? He is. You're pretty vacant. Scott, oh, okay. Scott's pretty. Yeah? Yeah. So, so uh, uh, when you're drawing a man, you know, is is I mean, I, men have such ugly bodies. What's what's up with that? Okay, I drew him because I was attracted to a scar. A scar? Yeah, that's what he's showing us there. Oh, what what what? We were at an event. What kind of surgery did he have? Skin cancer, I think. But don't. Quote Minor me leagues. That. Yeah, but it's a really good scar. That's a really good scar. His is much bigger. Railroad tracks. You want to see mine? When he showed it to me at a party. You want to I'm see like, mine? I have to draw that. I got me some scars. I got okay. some scars I'm going to scare you with. Uh, okay, so, Serena Potter, what do we have to look forward from you in 2017? More work. Where, where do you, now, you teach also? Yes. Where do you teach? Well, I bounce around. I'm adjunct. So oh, you're on the adjunct this, uh, highway. This semester, I'm teaching at Fullerton Junior College. That's my one of five colleges I was expelled from. Really? Oh yeah. Well, th this is my first time there, but it's close to home. So when I was there, it was FJC. FJC. Fullerton that's, Junior that's, College, and yeah. they got rid of the J, and and they got rid of the it, me too. So yeah, that's what the high school kids still call it. Fullerton Junior College. FJC. Okay. So so what are you teaching there? Painting. Painting. Mm -hmm. Where else are you teaching? Mount Sac. Mount Sac, wow, okay. Drawing. Drawing. And National University Online. Drawing. National University Online. Can I take a class on National University Online or do I have to go through the rigmarole process or how does one get on National University Online? It's a regular online? university. You have to and you know be accepted and oh. all of that. Do you have to have a password to get into your class then? Yes. Ah, so you're paying for the password. The student, the student is paying for the password. No, they have to enroll in the course just like any other. But what if they give me the password? Could I take your class then? 
It's like, can I audit your can I audit your class? So you're saying, can somebody have someone else do the drawings and turn in the work? No, 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 no. I wasn't thinking nefariously. Although, what a great idea! <laughs> um, no, no, no. What I what I meant was like, can somebody who's not a student there can they just get online and take a class from you? I no. You're not sure of the protocol. I'm sure they have to go through links. I you know they would have to register and I don't know. Are we looking at a charcoal Try. drawing? Is this paint, uh, charcoal, what are we? That's charcoal. Charcoal, mm -hmm. is that your specialty? No. What's your specialty? Whatever needs to happen what, What's the, the thing though, like, like, oh, like, uh-oh, it's the art contest. I have to do the best thing. What's the medium you want to do? What's the medium that you're like, I'm going to kick ass? I can kick ass with oils and charcoal. <laughs> Man, she ain't. She's not taking my, I'm giving you the bait to like put one yeah. over the other, but you're like, nah, I, baby, I'm know, the best. I go back and forth. I do a drawing and then I do a painting and then I do a drawing and then I do a painting. Really? Mm -hmm. You don't have a bunch of work in your studio all at once? No, I, work, I have to finish. You do one thing at a time? Wow, that's way too organized for me, man. Way yeah, too I'm, organized. I'm very organized. Is this yours too? Are we looking at another one of yours? Uh, that's a painting. That is a painting. Okay, great. It's a little mm -hmm. dark in here. It is. It's a wild party in the dark. I, 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 so, so, um, are you having a good time at the party? Yeah. And you brought banana bread, right? Is was that it? what it was? I don't know. I didn't try it I yet. I don't know. My neighbor gave it Your to me. Oh, don't, <laughs> what if the neighbor's watching? I re-gifted. You re-gifted some neighbor loaf. <laughs> Who knows what's in that bread? Oh, boy. Oh, no. It could be edibles. It could, well, it might be edible from the neighbor. You never know, right? So. You never know. Okay, so well, hey, um, thank you so much for being uh, on Modern Art Blitz. You're in April, our episode in April, but thanks for coming to the party and being on Modern Art Blitz. Thank and you. that wraps up our first hour. This is a three hour special. Jim? 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 We're going to be cutting to Jim Karen. Are you going to drum? What? I'll tell you when to start and stop. Don't worry. Um, hey, this has been the first hour of our three-hour special Modern Art Blitz New Year's Day 2017. Episode 51, a three-parter. Jim Karen will now be drumming for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, take it away, Jim Karen. We can't see him, but we know he's there. That was awesome. How you doing, Linda? Hey, I've been wanting to give this. Oh wow, 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 wow! Thank you so much. Wow. Open it now. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Oh wow. All right. Oh, that uh, interview you did with Elisa was so good. Oh, yeah. I'm taking Barbara. We're going to the next party. Okay, okay great seeing you, Betty. See you in two weeks. Two weeks, you're going to be our guest here. We're doing a workshop together. Nice. Right. Oh wow! <laughs> you got me an astrology talisman. Wow, wow, wow. That's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got it in my pocket. Cool. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Happy